videography. Just let me know. That's what I'll be doing today. I'll just be answering your questions. All right, so let's let's check. I'm trying to check uh, what questions you guys have already started asking. But network seems like it's a problem, really a problem. Uh, but uh, I just hope the live stream is going on very well. Today we are doing just a Q and A. where I'm just going to be answering some of your questions. So if you have any questions now concerning videography, ask and I will be answering those questions. If there's anything wrong with the stream, just let me know. I'm actually struggling to see the stream on my phone. But I can see on the computer that I'm live. So just let me know. Uh, let's, let me see, maybe if I log out from here. Network is slightly a problem, slightly a challenge, but uh, we are live. So if you have any questions in videography, just let me know in the comments section. By the way, we are having a serious Black Friday promotion. Uh, that Black Friday, if you are a filmmaker, an aspiring filmmaker, Please do take advantage of it. Uh, now I'm giving away all my courses for only $36, just less than 650 rand or less than 700 kwacha. You can get all my courses together with the digital products. So it's an amazing, an amazing package that you don't want to miss. So if you are watching that live, if you are interested in learning the videography, for me, that is the perfect, this is the perfect time. This is the perfect time. You can take advantage of that package. I mean, it's an amazing, amazing. I don't know what's, what's up with the live stream today, but... Uh, what cameras can you recommend for shooting in low light? Uh, I recommend Sony cameras, but if you want to learn more about low light capabilities of cameras, I think you should get my course, DSLR Cinematic Filmmaking. That is where I explain the camera sensor uh, in details, because it's the one that is responsible for acquiring light. Uh, which settings can you put for Instagram videos? Uh, for live, for Instagram videos, remember that um, there's different aspect ratios. Remember there is um, a 4 to 5 aspect ratio, which is a 1350 by 1080. Then we have a full HD, which is like 1920 by 1080, and a half HD. So if you are posting your Instagram live in um, full HD, 10, uh, 1920 by 1080, I recommend you use uh, that resolution plus the bitrate maybe to uh, 7 megabits per second when you're exporting your videos. That way, you're going to have a, a, a super clean 1080p video. But if you're going to export it in full, uh, in half HD, which is 720 by uh, 12, 1220 by 7, uh, 1280 by 720, then I recommend you use uh, at least 5 megabits per second in bitrate, because bitrate is the one that determines the... There's something wrong with our live stream today, but... Um, yeah, so if you're going to be posting your videos to Instagram in half HD, I recommend you use the bitrate of 5 megabits per second. But if it is the usual one, the 4 to 5 aspect ratio, which is 1350 by uh, 1080, I recommend you use 7 megabits per second. That way you're going to have a good Instagram Live. Right, I'm using Canon... Uh... All right, all right. 
Uh, we are here. Thank you so much. Is there a difference between color grading and color correction? Very much difference. Uh, color grading is an artistic approach to giving your final video a certain look, whilst color correction is actually just really color correcting your videos for for it to look as natural as possible. So there's a really big difference. So you can get much of such in my course, Color Grading Pro Max. By the way, all the courses on my website, all the courses, all the six courses, now you can get them for only $36, which is less than your lunch, you know. Um, what cameras can you recommend for shooting? Okay, uh, watching from George West and Cape. Thank you so much for joining. Are you using uh, Lumix GH4 today? I'm still using the same camera, Lumix GH5. Uh, the one that I normally use uh, all the time, it has not changed. All right, watching from George Western Cape, that is Mr. Chester. Thank you so much. Today I've got a lot of people watching from Georgetown. Uh, thank you so much. So if you want to learn a videography in full, like to understand everything in videography from operating the cameras, how to shoot, which camera angles to use, which camera movements to use, and what do those camera angles and camera movements, what do they mean? If you want to know how to set up lighting for your videos, if you want to know how to create great compositions for your videos, how to record clean audio, I have a separate course, DSLR Cinematic Filmmaking, where I go in details of such. And then we have uh, editing, video editing, where I go through the whole entire process of a video editing using Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's amazing, it's amazing course, it's amazing. And then we have color grading course where I go through everything that has to do with color grading and how to shoot music videos, how to shoot wedding videos, and the business side of videography. So all these courses, they are on promotion now, on Black Friday promotion of $35. If you want to learn and master the art of videography, do take advantage of these classes. Um, so uh, I'm just checking here to see if you guys have a questions, have questions, and people were asking if are these online classes or are physical classes? These are online classes. These are not just really like online classes. They are practical online classes, uh, whereby I show you exactly what I'm teaching. You know, if I'm talking about camera settings, I'm actually really show you what settings I'm using on that camera so that you can also follow along. This is like a manual that you can take with you everywhere. You can always come back to it and refer to it to just make sure you are having correct settings or to make sure that you are grading your videos professionally. So make sure you actually get this course if you really want to take your videograph to the next level. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, Mr. James watching from Chipata, thank you so much. Hi, Pedro watching from Chipata, Zambia. Thank you so much. Uh, Mr. K Media, Zambia watching from Zambia as well. Thank you so much. Uh, Lindelwa watch, uh, Labs here, thank you so much for joining in. If you have any questions in videography, please let me know. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, today, we're just going to be answering some of your questions that you have in videography. If you have any questions in videography, this is your opportunity to answer such questions, to ask such questions, and I'll be here answering. All right. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. If you have any questions, if you have any questions, I'm here to answer, whether it is to do with cameras, whether it is to do with uh, editing, color grading, all those questions, I'll be answering those questions tonight. So ask any questions if you have any. I'm buying a course, do I have a lifetime access? 100%, in fact, you can actually download all those courses in your computer and you can learn at your own time, at your own pace. And if there's anything that you don't really understand, uh, you can call me on my WhatsApp. Uh, the moment you enroll, obviously, I'll have your details. So if you do not understand certain things properly, you can call me and I'll be able to uh, go further and explain further stuff so that you understand. All right. Uh, after buying the course, oh, all right, I've, I've asked that one, I've answered that one. 
are watching from Deben. Thank you so much, Mr. Sydney. Uh, Mr. Chenene, all right, thank you so much for joining. Uh, if you have any question, today I'm answering all those questions. Today I'm answering all those questions. Uh, the live stream today is sabotaging. Mr. Aubrey Maseko, watch from Cape Town. I'm looking for the Hansa plugin. Help me find it. Uh, I don't know what is a Dehenser plugin. I've never really come across it. Uh, maybe it has got a name, another name. Let me know. Uh, I went to school somewhere today. I was given a Samsung camera which shoots in full HD. Now, the principal failed of putting twice the number of frame rate. What can I do in such a case? In such a case, you just need to upload, um, to download um, a third party application. Uh, there's an application that is called DSLR camera that you can download in your camera, which can give you all those settings where you can set your shutter speed twice the frame rate. All right. Watching from Mpongwe, Zambia. Thank you so much for joining, Mr. Sivambe. Uh, I'm watching from Zambia. Thank you so much. Elise Akere, I'm watching from Malawi. Thank you so much for joining from Malawi. If you have any questions, I'm here to answer all those questions. I'm here to answer all those questions with regarding to videography. Uh, I'm here to answer all those questions. So I'm waiting for your questions. I'm waiting for your questions. If you don't have any questions today, people seems like they don't have any questions. Any free editing software or draw you, you know for editing. Uh, Adobe Premiere Pro, you can get it for free. You can just go to a website called I Get It Into PC and uh, search for Adobe Premiere Pro. You can download it for free. And uh, I've been using Adobe Premiere Pro for free like that for so long. So just go to I Get It Into PC dot uh, com and you can download all those softwares. Not just Premiere Pro, but any software that you think of uh, in a Windows computer, you can always get it from there. What are the best settings for smooth camera movement? There isn't really like best settings for smooth camera movement. If you really want smooth camera movement, you, you need to buy a gimbal for your camera. That is the best I can uh, advise. You, you need to get a gimbal or just get a really good camera that has got um, good in-body uh, image stabilization like the Lumix GH5 that I'm using to do this live streaming now. So there isn't really like the best settings for smooth movement. The movement, you are the one who is moving. So make sure if you hold the camera in your hand, you move steadily and slowly. All right. Uh, all my questions you have already answered since day one. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, watching from Zambia, Mr. David. Thank you so much, Fidel. Course register now. Thank you so much. I'm watching from Zimbabwe. Thank you so much, Selector. Tavo. All right. Today is just Q&A. You ask and I answer kind of a session. You have been answering all my questions. That is Mr. MJ. Thank you so much. Uh, it seems I've answered everybody's questions. You know, you can ask anything, whether it is business-wise, whether it is camera-wise, whether it is anything that has to do with videography. Ask and I'll answer. All right, we best phone for shooting content. Uh, it depends which phone you can afford, but the best phone for shooting content right now, I can say, uh, maybe this one that I'm using, the uh, Galaxy, the Samsung, uh, the Samsung S20, from starting from S21, and also iPhone, maybe starting from iPhone X upward, they are really the best. I've been using these phones. I remember one day I was shooting a celebrity, actually. We went to this location where they were not allowing actual cameras, so on that day we bought a... Um, iPhone X when it was just coming out and I, I shot that video. It was even showing on Channel O and uh, Trace Africa. Uh, it was showing. So any phone uh, like uh, starting from iPhone X upward or Galaxy S21 upward, it can shoot really good videos. But even other phones like uh, Huawei Mate 40, you know, as long as it can really shoot like nice HD video, the rest is up to your skill, like the camera movements, the times you are shooting, 
how you treat lighting in your videos, all those kind of stuff, they will add up. All right, thank you so much. Uh, you haven't answered my question, uh, which was the question, K Media? Uh, which was your question, Mr. K Media? Can you ask your question again? Uh, is there another way of reducing the video size in Adobe apart from bitrate settings? It's it not just Adobe, but in every software you use, the only way of reducing the size of the video is bitrate. You see, bitrate is the number of um, data that is being transferred when the video is being played. Like when the, the, that video file is being played, the, the number of um, how do I describe bitrate again? The number of data that is being transferred per second, that is bitrate. So in every software that you're going to use, bitrate is there. It's part of the video property. So any software that you're going to use, the only way that you reduce the size of the video, the bitrate, uh, the, the video size is the bitrate. So what, are, what usually happens is, if you're going to really, if you really want your video to be very small, but still have a good quality. The other thing that you can reduce is the video resolution. So if I want to post something on, um, maybe it's a website, you know, I, I want the video not to be that big. What I usually do is I'll actually export the video in SD, like 40, uh, uh, 640 resolution by 480, you know, and reduce the bitrate maybe to three megabits per second. That way, the video is going to be very small at the same time having clean image. But if you want to export your video um, with 4 megabits per second, but still in HD, the video is going to really look bad. So it's either you reduce the resolution of the video to a lower number that, you know, actually when I'm exporting the videos for, if I want to really make the videos really small, I normally, uh, I normally, like, figure out where am I trying to post this video. Like almost all the adverts that I post on my social media, those are really like half HD, like 720 by 1080. Uh, no, uh, 1280 by 720 or 1080 by 1080. Like really small resolution. That way I can reduce the bitrate so that the video can still look clean at the same time having a really low file size. Is there another way of, okay, that one I've answered it. I don't have enough money to buy an expensive camera. Help me in choosing a cheap, best camera for video shooting. I'm not the one who can really help you to choose. You are the one who knows what you want to shoot. So the only thing that I can advise you is to understand cameras. And there is no better way that you can understand camera than taking my course because I have gone all, through all the details about cameras. Because in my course, DSLR Cinematic Filmmaking, I teach about, uh, there's a topic there, understanding your camera, where I teach about how a camera works, you know, all the other stuff that is needed for the camera to work. So after you take that course and you know exactly how the camera works, it is easier for you to choose a camera that can shoot the video that you intend to shoot. So you are the only one who can actually really know what is the best camera for you. Because for me, until today, I still use cameras that cost like 1,000 rands or cameras that cost like $100, $50. I still use those cameras in some cases, depending on the stories that I'm telling. So for me, any camera that is like $100 upward, it is good. But for you, a $100 camera might not really be the best for you, you know, might not really be the best for you for whatever content that you are trying to create. So you are the only one who can know uh, which camera you need to get. But that can only come from the knowledge that you have about cameras. So just get my course. We are doing a promotion right now, Black Friday promotion, 75% off. So you're only paying 25%. And you get all the courses, all the six courses, together with all the digital products, softwares, plugins that I use, transitions, all those presets and the loot that you get for free. All right. Uh, let's go. Tell me how to make weights moving from bottom going up. Uh, that one you can get my course. It's something that I have to demonstrate using another computer. 
and today I'm not in my studio, but if you've gotten my course, uh, video editing, I actually really show how to create uh, rolling titles, scrolling titles, static titles, all those details are there. So it's not something that I can show you now, but just get my course, you'll find everything there. Uh, tell me how to make words moving forward. Oh, that is Ekere. Hi, bro. Hello, bro. That is Camila, my sister. Hello. How are you doing, my sister? Uh, what's the difference between JPEG, PNG, and which one is the best? Uh, PNG is a transparent, it's a, it's a transparent, it's a trans transparent object. So if I'm saving my, this image as a PNG, maybe all the background will not show, only myself will show, so it's easier for you to just put something at the back, at the back, right? While it's the uh, JPEG, it is, it's a smaller, it, it's, it's more like a smaller version of size that can, that can be, prev uh, that you can preview in almost all the devices. It's the smallest, it's a format. These are formats that you can save your pictures into, right? So anytime I'm editing something and I, I know that this, um, this picture I want it to play in almost all the devices, I usually save it in JPEG. But if I want to put something in the background, PNG is just really like transparent object. So you are saving your picture, living uh, with alpha, uh, with alpha inside, so that you can put something at the back of it, right? That's the main difference there. Uh, so the full package of your course is how much in total in runs? It's like 650 runs right now. But after this Black Friday. It will go to its normal price. The full package will be like 4000 or 5000 right? So I decided before I take it to its normal price so that I can focus on my students, we're going to do this Black Friday where you just pay 650 rands. All right. I'm interested. Thank you so much. If you're interested, just go to ufc.unifyinventive.net and then click on Black Friday. When you just go, when you just land on the landing page, you see Black Friday, $36. Just click there and you'll be able to pay with PayPal. Or uh, you can pay also with uh, e-wallet, you can pay also with um, direct deposit, you can pay with Mukuru, you can pay with any other means of payment method. Uh, do you do photograph courses? At the moment, I only do videography courses. Uh, maybe photography courses will come next year. There's still so many courses that I'm yet to launch. Uh, live streaming is done. I just need to find a good space to launch it. There's also another course, Church Media, which has to do with all the church stuff is also coming. There's also another course that has to do with YouTube. It's also coming. There's also another course that has to do with how to make online courses, it's also coming. So we've still got a lot of videography courses that I'm launching. After all those courses have been launched, then I'll, I'll also start photography courses. All right. Um, what, e, what if your computer system is small? If your computer system is small, in my course, Video Editing Pro, I have taught how to edit your videos using proxies. This is when your computer is very small. So you can still shoot your videos in high quality, but if your computer is failing to play the, those videos, to edit those videos, you can create proxies. Proxies are converted video files that you use in place of an original file. So you edit using proxies, and before you export your videos for final export, you reconnect the proxies to original files and you export a, a high quality video. So if you want to know about that, it is in my course, Videograph, uh, Video Editing Pro. All right, I'm going through your courses. Which camera is the best in low light budget? 30K, I'll recommend uh, any Sony camera like Sony A7S Mark III, Sony A7S III, those cameras are Super good when it comes to low light. All right. Uh, UFC.unify inventive. Thank you so much. Mm, if you have any questions, all these questions, I've answered them. 
I've uh, answered this one, I've answered this one. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Otherwise, today I'm just answering your questions in videography. Uh, whatever questions you have, how can I make a gold log for my video director? Uh, this question, I don't understand it. Uh, I don't, Jay Cassie, I don't understand this question. How can I make a gold log for my video director? I don't understand this question, but if you are trying to say, how can I make a, a, a gold logo? If you are talking about logo, that is something that you can do with Photoshop easy. So is the promotion only ending on the Black Friday? Yes. Next week, Friday, the promotion is over. All my courses are going back to normal price. Then I can focus on the students that have been purchasing the course, and also I can focus on other projects. So this is like the last of the last promotion that we have done. Uh, we just wanted not to be left out during this Black Friday. And I have had a lot of questions from my students who are saying they can't afford the course. So I think if you cannot really afford this material, because these courses, they give you the skill, even if you never really held a camera before, they all start from the beginning. Start, and I explain everything. What is video editing? And... I explain video editing and show you exactly how to edit videos, show you exactly how to color grade videos, explaining everything that has got to do with color grading. So if you cannot really afford the course for 650 rand, then I don't know where you want to go with your videography career because you cannot really learn the whole skill of videography free and make money out of it. If that was easy, a lot of people would get into videography. So the things that I teach are the things that people pay a lot of thousands in film schools because uh, they take you from actually being a beginner to being a professional. You know, you never struggle with a camera or you never struggle with editing once you take my courses. All right. Uh, Shelton Nkomo, we are coming, bro. Thank you so much, Mr. Shelton. Thank you for the knowledge, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Christiana Magazine. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks very much. What effects can I use to edit a music video in the type of a cipher video? Mm, I have a lot of videography transitions, not necessarily pre presets. Uh, but you can also find presets in there. I have a package on my on my digital products that there is lens flares there. There is transitions like cool transitions. That package you can get it on my website as you purchase the courses. It is also an addition. All right. What are the best free video editing softwares? The best free video editing software is Adobe Premiere Pro. So you can go to I get it into PC and you can download the uh, you can download Adobe Premiere Pro standalone installer for free. Okay, may you share a link for us to join the class? Uh, one of my student, uh, one of my members who share the link, but the website is ufc.unifyinventive.net. All right, that is where you enroll. Uh, can you share presets on WhatsApp if at all you paid? I can share a link where you can download from. So if you pay for the course, I can share the link that you can download those uh, presets from. So it is still not a problem. All right. What are the best? Uh, may you share the link? Uh, all right. So the link has been shared by one of the Unify Film class member, you can get it there. Thank you very much. Uh, let's keep, let's keep, let's keep the questions coming. Let's keep the questions coming. I can see Barros Comboca Media Agents has shared. San Pedro, our very own international videographer, is live. Thank you so much for sharing Comboca Media Agents. Uh, thank you so much for the continued support. I really appreciate. 
Uh, do you have a WhatsApp group? Would like to join? Yes, Tanya Mapembe is asking. Yes, I'm um, uh, just take our number from the page. Uh, then you can uh, just say hi. I want to join the group. Then I'll add you to the group. Thank you very much. I'm connected, Mr. Wise. Phineas Sambo, thank you so much for joining us, Mr. Phineas Sambo. If you have any questions in videography that you'd want to know about, just let me know, and I'll be able to ask, answer what I know. Otherwise, we are about to close the live stream. We are proud of you, Mr. Manenga Luvinda. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Luvinda. Uh, thank you very much. I'm so humbled. Thank you. Thank you a million times. Uh, also, me, I would like to join your WhatsApp group. Just text me on the number that is showing on this page. When you go to Unify Film Class page, there's a number, a WhatsApp number that you can just text, say hi, and then I'll be able to answer. Thank you very much. Uh, if, if you are in Unify Class, you are... I don't know what Mr. Phineas Sambo is trying to say. <laughs> Maybe there's a typo error there. <laughs> uh, I'll, do so th uh, I'll do so. You are the best. Thank you so much. Any advice for drone pilots, beginner? Uh, just get a good drone. Nowadays, you know, when we started flying drones with uh, Phantom 3, it was kind of like very difficult because you have to hold the drone with the control. But nowadays, Drones have got auto hover, you know, your only job is just to take it up, it will stay there, you know, so just really get like one of these latest drones like uh, Mavic Air, Mavic Mini, Mavic Pro Platinum, all those are really good drones, easy to fly. Some of these drones you can actually really put settings there, it will fly itself. All right. Uh, you are the best, sir. Thank you so much, Mr. Mwaps. Mwaps, MT, thank you so much. Thank you very much. You are an amazing teacher. Uh, thank you very much. All right, guys. Uh, we are about to close. We are about to close. I cannot see questions anymore. If you have any questions, you can just drop them in the comment sections. I usually spend an hour just going through your questions to answer the questions that I didn't answer during the live. Otherwise, we are having a promotion on our film classes. All the six classes together with the all six digital, project, uh, digital products, uh, they are all going for $36 only. That is like less than uh, 650 rands. You can join the class where I teach about videography. You know, one way that you can make money in videography is if your skill is solid, or the, your skill is above average. Most videographers don't really make it in videography because their skills, even though they think like they, they know something, but their skills are still below average. They still don't know exactly how to manipulate a camera in order to get the best out of it. They still don't know exactly what to do in the industry and stuff like that. So they're they are just really like trying and error which is the biggest mistake I made, and I don't want you to make that mistake. That's why I created Unify Film Class, which is the program that will teach you how to shoot videos professionally, how to edit your videos, how to color grade your videos, how to do business in videography, like how to get clients, how to charge for your videos, how to market yourself and get all those big clients that you always wanted to work with, you know? When I started videography, I really never had connections in the industry, but I have worked with Almost all the celebrities that you know, look, I've worked with Wo I've worked with Kulichana, Boiti Tulo, everything you can name you can name them, TV personalities I've worked on popular uh, Netflix shows, you know, not because I was connected, but because my skill was solid. People could see even in the smallest video I was doing to say this guy has got skill so the best thing that you can do if you want to succeed in your videography is not really buying an expensive camera. You can buy an expensive camera after your skill is really above average. And if you really want to up your skill level, Unify Film Class is the best way to go. Uh, thank you very much. 
Uh, can you come up with a videography pilot course? Obviously, uh, these are some of the stuff that I really want to do, but just time. Obviously, I'm going to come up with it. What settings can I use to a camera when shooting a music video that can be easy to edit due to color grade? Uh, I really don't get your questions, but if you are using an 8-bit camera, I would recommend you shoot with a, a standard profile picture, which um, backs most of the color information in your video already. And you can just really, if you are that of a beginner, you can take one of my loots, like I have over 3,000 loots, color presets that you can choose from. You just get it and slap it on your video, and it will look very nice. All right, so... On picture style, I would recommend you go with a standard and then do other stuff like your, your lighting has to be on par, your color balance has to be on par, your surrounding or the environment where you're shooting in, make sure it goes in the, in hand in hand with the concept of your video. And then from there, the camera settings for music videos that I would recommend, if you're shooting in HD, at least shoot all the performance clips are 24 frames per second or 25 frames per second, depending on where you're going to play that video. And then the frame rate, uh, the, the aperture, obviously, twice the frame rate, which is uh, 150th of a second or 148th of a second. And then with the ISO, make sure you shoot at the native base of your camera. You know, native base is the highest ISO your camera can shoot without introducing so much noise in your image. So whatever camera that you are using, just Google for native base ISO of that camera and make sure you don't shoot really in, high S in, in higher ISO number, which will introduce these showers or noise in your image. So those are the best settings. If you want to know more about music videos, I have a course that is included in my Unify Film class package. Uh, music Video Pro, where I teach about all the camera settings, all the cameras you need for music videos, or, and, and stuff of that nature. How can I connect live stream in two places? That is very easy. It depends what software you're using for live streaming. Uh, with the software that I'm using right now, I can connect to three platforms at once. That is Fidel asking. I can connect to three platforms at once. I can connect YouTube, I can connect Instagram, I can connect Facebook at once. So it depends what software you are using. But if you are not really knowledgeable about all this kind of stuff, you can use other platforms like StreamYards. It can, you can actually just really commend it to broadcast your live stream to multiple platforms, not just the three, but multiple platforms. You can use also Ustream. It's another popular platform that you can use to push your live streams to multiple platforms. So the choices are endless. By the way, my color grading, ah, my live streaming course is also going to drop anytime soon from today. Uh, just like the page so that you don't really miss out. Uh, Jay Cassie, what settings should I reduce exposure or what, what for it to be easy to color grading? You have to, uh, if you want your color grading to be easy, this is the first topic that I teach in my color grading class. If you want your color grading to be easy, make sure your white balance, you know how to, to set your white balance properly, and you know how to expose your image properly. There are three settings that you use for exposure, right? There is the aperture, uh, there is ISO, there is the shutter speed. These three settings, you need to know the right balance. So if you want to know more about that, the live is not really the best approach. This live is not really the best approach. Just get my course, DSLR Cinematic Filmmaking. I go through all such kind of stuff, like in details, like the first 40 minutes of that course is just dedicated to camera settings, understanding your camera. So it's the best advice I can give you. Just take advantage of the... Of the Black Friday promotion. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you again on Monday when we do another live. Uh, if you still have any questions with regards to videography, just drop them in the comment section. I'll still be able to answer all of them.